So today we are going to just be hanging out. I'm going to show you what it's like a day in my life as a mom when I don't have my kids. So today is the first day I actually don't have them, which I'm not in a rush to like get anything crazy done, but I do have some work I need to catch up on. I need to um, plan my week. The first thing I'm going to do right now before after I make myself breakfast is go and check out some daycares for Ember and tour some because I am planning on putting her in daycare so that way I could like just focus more on work and yeah I feel like I've been wanting to put her in daycare I've just kind of been putting it off but it's time now so yeah so in a little bit we are going to go head out and tour some and after that I think I'm just going to do a quick workout at the gym and grab my planner and just hit up like the nearest coffee shop and just like get to like planning you know getting planning my week out i think we'll be good to um just like clean up a little bit over here i actually kind of did some cleaning already so like my living room kitchen's pretty much clean so all i really have to focus on is mostly like laundry and also the boys room i feel like their bo their boys room stink i don't know like you boy moms like when they get older they just start smelling and the room i just gotta like just take off all their sheets, throw some like, I don't even know, like make that room smell good again. Open the window, <laughs> first of all. So um, that's the plan for today, guys. I'm just gonna make myself some breakfast because I have this toxic trait, this terrible, terrible toxic trait of waiting to the last minute and then I start getting hangry. And I know it's not good because I feel like I could, my body could look just so much better if I like actually took care of it and like ate my meals when I'm supposed to because honestly eating is where it's at. Like you have to like eat your meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Obviously like I'm trying to be on a little bit of a calorie deficit so I can eat, so I can see a bit of my muscles. So, um, and I need to prioritize protein and also remember to take my vitamins. So you guys are gonna be doing that with me. Let's start off first with taking my vitamins. For right now, I'm really not feeling like cooking, so I'm just gonna make some protein oatmeal. This is just like my go-to. Also, not gonna drink coffee because shortly after I'm done pouring stuff, I, I need to watch my caffeine intake too because I really, truly have an addiction to caffeine and it's been a problem. Like I've been having coffee in the morning and an energy drink, like a pre-workout drink before my workout and then at night I'm like grabbing a hot coffee. I'm like, what am I doing to myself? Like, girl, like, get it together. I just went ahead and got a big drink of water. Cause you know, we gotta hydrate too. See, the, it's just so hard adulting. Like, okay, especially when you have kids, you're just like, okay, so you gotta like, make sure you eat your breakfast, lunch, and dinners, go to the gym, stay healthy, make sure like, you know, your work is good. <laughs> Look at me ranting, you guys. Make sure you're like you're on top of work and not trying to feel like mom guilt, but also like you need to drink water and maybe like not drink so much caffeine. It's a struggle out here, guys. high protein oatmeal to get us through the day. Definitely not the best tasting, I'm not gonna lie. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Like eat a bowl of, of oatmeal that's full of protein. Okay, so I ended up calling some of the daycare places and I should have made an appointment and I thought they were just gonna like let me go in and see you know just just go in and pop in but obviously the world doesn't revolve around me so I made an appointment for tomorrow so right now could you guess where we're parked outside of the gym <laughs> As 
you guys already know, you know your girl loves coffee, but with that being said, I have to have a really good oral care routine because I don't want everyone to know that. I don't want them to be like, yep, that girl likes coffee because her teeth are yellow, not me. I'm not the one. Thanks to you smile. So you smile uses smart screen technology to guide me as I brush. But before I started using you smile during my last dental cleaning, my dentist noticed a lot of tartar buildup. And it didn't just affect the way my teeth looked, but it also caused sensitive gums, which led to bleeding. But ever since I started using U-Smile, my teeth feel so much cleaner, and I get to tackle that buildup every single time. So U-Smile uses smart screen technology to guide me as I brush with a two-minute timer as well, so I know I'm getting a good two minutes of cleaning all of my teeth. So the reason I love most about you smile is the smart screen technology. This is so cool because it has an oral map of your mouth with a two minute timer. So about 30 seconds in of my brushing, I'll spit and I'll pause and I'll check my screen and it shows me all the spots I need to focus on and where I have missed. So that way I can get a thorough cleaning every single time with 100% flat remove. so clean now and with you smells toothbrush head you don't have to choose between gum care strengthening or whitening you smell gives it all and I'm also one who really likes to brush your teeth in the shower too and with you smell it's waterproof so you can get two things done at once probably not in that order but you guys know what I mean <laughs> So use my code to get 50% off only on Black Friday's big sale. Check out that link in the description. Hey. Ah, I ended up taking my coffee to go because it was just a little bit too crowded for there for me. Um, I just do better in like a smaller setting and yeah, when it's too busy, I just can't concentrate. So um, we are here at my town home clubhouse and I'm gonna do some emails, plan out my week and just kind of like be here. There's like literally no one here every single time I come. daylight savings time is hitting us hard it's already dark so good news the smell went away it doesn't stink in here like feet I don't know what it is about my boys but my gosh 
they had the worst B.O. of their feet. I'm like, dude, you guys, get it together. <laughs> All right, so the room is pretty much picked up. I'll show you their closet. I cleaned up in there too. And now this is all the laundry. I made a neighbor friend and it's been the best thing ever. Like it's been so fun to have somebody that looks close to me, also has similar interests. Yeah, she's outside. We're gonna go to the grocery store and get like something for dessert. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to find some shoes. Whatever, I'm just gonna wear these. We got pumpkin pie. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I thought that vlog was a little boring, so I'm combining it into this one. Today, we have a little bit more of exciting things to do, which is Christmas shopping. I'm so excited, you guys. I am so ready. Let me show you the fit. I have on this cute little scarf. I'm feeling, I'm just feeling the holidays. Like, look at me. And yeah, we are gonna go shopping at Target. And of course, maybe check out Home Goods, TG Maxx, all those good places as well. We're gonna go Christmas decor shopping. I'm gonna completely do my tree different this year. I don't know what, but Target will let me know how I wanna decorate it because I'm pretty basic when it comes to the tree, which of course I do wanna stick to, but also like, let's see, like we're gonna, we're just gonna add some different vibe this year for our Christmas decorations. I'm so excited, my kids are so excited. So with that being said, let's go. All right, so I picked out this so far for the tree. I feel like going with like a really classy vibe this year would be would be it. I feel like this just makes sense with like the pops of red. Be really cute. What do you guys think? Okay, then with little pops of candy canes, I think it's gonna be a vibe. See, you guys get like we're doing a Target tree this year. Ran out of room in my memory card, but okay. So the best smelling ones so far are the Wonder Wood and Sage. Oh, it smells so perfect. They got like subtle scents because you know Christmas and fall can get like a little too much, but I get the biggest headache if it's too strong. So sugar and sugared pine needles is bomb. Sounds good. <laughs> 